I'm Derek from WeBoost. So I've seen some stories floating around the internet about Christmas lights blocking your Wi-Fi signal. And this got us thinking, is this real? Can Christmas lights really block your Wi-Fi signal? And if so, wouldn't that block your cell phone signal as well? So could all these holiday Christmas lights be blocking our phones and our Wi-Fi connections? So we went to our engineers to get the lowdown. According to uh, the claim, it, uh uh, seems like that, you know, if your wires uh, supposedly aren't shielded, then it could uh, cause interference. For shielding to matter, uh, you would have to have the assumption that there's some kind of a radio frequency uh, present on the wire. And you would have to have some sort of a faulty equipment that uh, didn't, does not comply with FCC regulations emitting some frequency and injecting that into the power lines and um, then you extend that and now your Christmas lights, uh, uh, the wiring of the Christmas lights really becomes your extended uh, you know, means for radiating that energy. So if Christmas lights affect Wi-Fi, would that affect your cell phone as well? Yes, I would. I would very much think so. You would, you would most likely see complaints about cell phones uh, being interfered with. You know, let's say you, uh, you did uh, a lot of Christmas lights, you went like Chevy Chase, uh, uh, all decked out, uh, covered your whole uh, home with lights, and then you went outside your receiver, your Wi-Fi uh, hotspot is in the house, and you go out into the yard. But, you know, by then you're really shielding, you're creating what's called a Faraday cage around your home. So for those of you who aren't engineers, this is a Faraday cage. Basically, it's a big metal box, and it blocks all the signal from coming through. So that's what he's saying here, is if you're wrapping your house in a ton of Christmas lights, they're made out of metal wire. So pretty much you're wrapping your house in wire, which could block the signal from coming through. So my impression is that um, it, it, it would be very rare for something to happen, like uh, you know, potentially one out of a million <clears throat> or less. Okay, so things are not looking so good for the validity of this story, which is good for your Wi-Fi signal. So let's do some tests. Now keep in mind, this is the worst case scenario. You would never actually do this, but it will show you whether or not the Christmas lights are affecting the Wi-Fi speeds or your cellular signal. So to start out our test, we're gonna establish a baseline. So we've got our signal in decibel mode right here, or test mode, and you can learn how to do that here. And then we've got our speed test. So we're gonna run several tests here and kind of get an average of what the speeds are. And as you can see, our Wi-Fi here is pretty slow. So it looks like our average speed is around one megabit down and then five up. And then our signal strength is negative 82. I'm gonna take the Christmas lights and just wrap them around the phone, creating basically the worst possible scenario. So wrapping it in the Christmas lights didn't affect the signal at all. Let's do a speed test. Looks like it may have affected the Wi-Fi strength a little wrapping the wire around the phone. So let's plug it in and see if that has any effect. Based on this test, I would say that the Christmas lights had no effect at all. Our signal strength is still negative 82, and it looks like it didn't affect our Wi-Fi speed at all either. So have no fear. Deck your house out with Christmas lights and don't worry about it affecting your Wi-Fi or your phone. If you have any questions or comments about this video, leave them in the comments below. And subscribe to our channel. We'll be releasing videos like this every week. Have a good one, and we'll see you next time.